Okay, let's talk about some advanced searching techniques you can use when using a library database. Sometimes you'll hear this referred to as Boolean searching, which is a term from algebra, which just uh, involves using a lot of connectors and different techniques in algebra equations. But we'll just call it advanced searching today. But it's kind of it's kind of similar to algebra. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bypass this search all library databases and I'm going to go directly to advanced search. I, I always do this. You can certainly use this, but for me it's easier to use the advanced searching techniques if I go directly to advanced search because I always search in this way. Okay, so let's say I'm doing a paper for my class on, on leadership, different styles of leadership and how they affect things. So I'll just start off typing in here leadership. I'm going to kind of show you a lot of, a lot of different things here. We'll just run a search here. There's going to be a ton of articles on this. Okay, now we have 3,210,000. Boy, goodness gracious. Okay, how about we type in in the next box. And notice I always use separate boxes for these things when I type things in. I don't, I don't type in. I'll show you when I use the same box for different terms. But I'm going to do something else here. How about I've been kind of looking over the different styles. And I kind of like the trans, transformational or transformative. Okay. And we'll do a search here. We have over 3 million. That cut it down quite a bit, down to 5,414. Okay, <clears throat> now the first thing I'm going to show you, trans transformative could also be transformational. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little trick here. Transformative and transformational would both have that same spelling right there. Okay, as well as transformation, right? Um, so what I would do, we might even back it up a little bit for transforming, maybe that. So wherever you want, I'm going to put an asterisk in and that's going to, well, no, because I don't just want transform, transfer. Yeah, let's do it right there. So there's some, it's kind of a creative thing, but I'd say right there, I want every version of the word transformation, transformational, run a search. We have 5,414 articles. When we change that. We had 51,528 articles. That's pretty dramatic, isn't it? So adding that little asterisk to let it, to give it the freedom to search for any version of the word, that was pretty crazy how much that, <laughs> I mean, they increased it from 5,000 to 51,000. So if you're running searches in these databases and you say, gosh, I just can't find what I'm looking for, these little tips and tricks will, will help you. And we're going to do some other things. What about leader? Leadership, it could also be leader. What if we got any version of the word leader? Leader with an asterisk. So we get leader or leadership or leaders. This is kind of fun. We have 51,528, obviously more than you would ever need, but we're going to narrow this down. Okay, that doubled how many? Just adding that asterisk. Do you see what a huge difference these things have on the searches. And as we're going here, I'll come back to this. On the library website, if you click under library handouts, this is called Boolean advanced search terms. If you click on this, this is a page you can download or print out or whatever you would want to do with it. And it uh, shows this right here. It shows you all these little tricks that I'm using. So we would use the leader with the asterisk. I'm going to get into or pretty quick, then we'll get into quotation marks, then we'll get into not. Those are the basic ones that I use. So there's that. You can always, you can go down to, you can download that, print it off, whatever you want to do with it. Let's go back to our results here. Okay, so now with leader, and I know it's, it's, it gets a little, we'll, we'll let this evolve. Let's, let's try this with leader. It could also be manager or managing. So I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to go right there and because we might get, yeah, let's say I'm probably looking for manager or management, something like that. So I'm going to go to manage and put my asterisk. So right off the bat, I'm going to put that in there. So leader or manager, we have 102,000. Now we have 292,000. So do you see what a huge difference in your searches this makes? So we there has to have at least some version of leader now i said or manager because those kind of mean the same things depending on what i'm looking for here some version of the word tran transformation transformational okay so it we started off i think with 5000 articles now we're up to 292 and i'm just doing simple little changes here 
Okay, how about the next one? Let's talk about, notice how I did that in the same box. I don't use these, I don't change these to ORs. I like doing it in the same box, and I like generally keeping these to AND, except for one example I'm going to show you, which I'll change that to NOT. But let's start off here. How about, okay, so we have so many. Let me narrow this down. What if I want to look for the concept of high performance or high performing? Okay, now I'm going to type in high performance. And notice what I'm doing here. I'm putting that in quotation marks because I don't want to look. I, I don't want to look for the word high and performance because that's going to look for high somewhere in the article and performance somewhere in the article. I don't want that. I want high performance. So I build a little cage around it. I put the quotation marks on either side. I only want the phrase high performance as it relates to these. Okay, we're going to do a search here. Let's see what happens. We have 292,000. Okay, see how much that narrowed it down so quickly? Now we have 1,461. That's great. And there's probably some great articles in here. I'm already seeing some like that. Looks like a really good one right there. Now, I'm, I want more though. Okay, what about high performing? So I can combine this now. I can use those quotation marks and I can use an asterisk here because I don't want to lose any of the high performance articles, but also I'd like high performing. Let's see what happens. So I have this in quotation marks. I still want that, but the word perform, that could be performs, performing. I want different versions of it. We have 1,461. Let's see if it changes it. Sometimes it doesn't give us any more, but let's just give it a try. See what happens here. Okay, that gave us about 400 more articles. So do you see it makes such a huge difference to use these little tricks with the database. You're giving the database different options to work with you instead of just typing in one thing and then saying, I can't find anything. That's really not how they work. They like it if you give them different options. This really isn't very technical. Really look at this. And like I said, go to the library website under library handouts, and then you'll find this Boolean searching uh, I should change that to say advanced searching. I'll see if I can do that because a lot of people have no idea what Boolean means, but this is all it means. We're using these asterisks, using the ORs, using the quotation marks. Okay, now let's do some more, some more ORs on this. Uh, looking through this because I want, I want more. I want more. Sometimes these days people will talk about a leader or manager, or sometimes they'll say coach. That's a term that's used a lot now in the business world is you're coaching. You're coaching people for success or something like that. So what if we put in coach and right off the bat, I'm just going to put an asterisk right there for coach or coaching. Let's run a search now. And so my search just keeps evolving. Okay. I don't just want to run one search. I keep going. We got 1,870. Okay. That added about a hundred. Okay. Now we're getting some, look at this leadership team coaching, developing collective transformational leadership. Bingo. Perfect. Perfect. This is an ebook. It'd be great. Great to take a look at that. The art of executive coaching. See, I didn't have that before. Leadership performance. This is good. This is good. Okay, we're going to look through here. We're going to keep looking and see what we got. Mm, looking, looking like some really good things here. Yeah, good, good results. Now, the only problem with that is I bet we're going to have some things in here that aren't what we're looking for because I have so many ores now. I bet we're going to find some things in here on sports. And I'm, I'm really looking at this, the word coach more as like in the business world or, or in the management world. So I'm going to, and look, we're out of boxes. Whoops. Uh oh, well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to click this plus sign. I'm going to add a box now. So far, everything's been, and I want this and that, and that, and that. What if I don't want certain things? Not, I don't want these words in there. I don't want sports. Okay. I'm just telling it for my search here. I don't want to see articles literally that are about coaching um, team sports, which they, there could very much high performance. That's totally a term used in sports. Okay. I'm just going to say not sports. So I keep it focused on what I'm doing. So now I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to eliminate sources. We have 1,930. It's kind of fun. Let's see how many it takes away. If I change that to not sports, 1,930 becomes 1,849. It took a fair amount out. That's a that's a um, amount I don't have to look at now. Let me look through here also. See if there's anything else I don't want to see. 
looking let's see let's see the people manager it's looking good looking good it's all looking pretty good to me what about the school leadership in the 21st century what if i don't want articles on schools and there's a lot of articles on leadership in schools so i've noticed so i'll say not sports or school okay now so so this or can be used when you're telling it not to i don't want this or that Let's take this. We have 1,849. Let's see how many it, it uh, eliminates. Okay. 1,565. All right. So the next thing, let's do this. Let's think what else. Let's, let's say, let's start to get really specific now. Now, another thing I would do here at this point, I might have done this earlier too. This is going all the way back to 1975. Let's say we're going to say just... 2016 to 2022. So I don't want anything older than 2016. Okay, 775. Now we're getting specific, and there's some great things in here that we could use. Terrific. Okay, now let's get specific. Some version of leader or manage or coach. Let's say that has to be in the titles of the sources. So TI, I'm going to change this selective field to TI title. Okay, looking good, 142. Now we're really starting to narrow this down. What about some version of transformative? Has to be in the title as well. Okay, now we're down to 30. So now we're starting to lose a lot of sources. Now, that's fine, but I might want to broaden this out a little bit now. And this can evolve, trans because there's different styles of leadership. I also remember in my course, I learned about um, charismatic leadership. That sounds interesting. I'm going to go that far and I'm going to do an asterisk. So we get charisma or charismatic. That So this or that is in the title. We have 30. Let's see if this increases it at all. That didn't increase it at all. Okay, how about or authentic? We talked about authentic leadership in my course. So transformational or any version of that or any version of charisma or authentic. We have 30. Has to be in the title. Now we got 32. Okay. I can just keep going. I can do as many ors as I want. Or servant. We talked about servant leadership. 32 articles. Hey, 43. Okay. So now we're starting to get more, and you can just keep evolving this and doing this okay, as far as you want to go. Now, at this point, maybe I'm looking through here. They look good. I'm looking like some. Now, this is another thing I might want to add. Or CEO. That's a good one or CEO. Let's see how that changes things. 43 sources for it didn't change it at all. That's okay. Okay. So I just keep experimenting and working with this and working with it. And we've got 43 sources here. We've got all kinds of things. We've got articles, we've got books, uh, we've got reports. You might want to, it depends on your course. They might ask you only for peer reviewed articles. If that is the situation at this point, maybe we would just click scholarly peer reviewed journals right there. And that narrowed us down to 25, which is still a really good set of articles. So at one point, I think we were looking at over 200. I think at one point we were looking, I think our first search had a, had over 3 million hits. And it didn't really take me very long. And it was kind of fun to narrow it down to 25. So there, right there is a really good, uh, it's a really good example of how to do some basic little tweaks to your searches. I would call this Boolean searching. It's also just advanced searching. It's basically how to work with these library databases so you get better results. Okay, there you go. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.